Hi, welcome to What They Don't Tell You About Leadership, Season 2. Today, featuring Michael Burke, Director of Wawam Orlando and Convener of the Wawam Region Eastern North America. Michael is also part of the extended leadership of the University of the Nations International. Michael is a pioneer, a visionary leader, and an amazing encourager. I'm sure you will enjoy as he's sharing from his heart. One of the things that maybe surprised me about leadership was that uh, how, how often uh, people will say things that are hurtful or betray you. And it's just really critical to, to make sure we keep short accounts and that we're, we're quick to forgive. Forgiveness is not something we teach in our basic level training, our discipleship training school, and then it's once and done. But it's actually a lifestyle we need to live on an ongoing basis. You know, I think of uh, Jesus and Judas and, and how the disciples were so baffled by the fact that Judas was going to betray them. Even at the Last Supper when Jesus identifies Judas, they don't get it. And I think the reason they don't get it is because, at least in my opinion, is that Jesus didn't treat Judas differently. He treated him through the, the, the heart of forgiveness and the heart of love. And, and that's really an important factor for us as leaders. If we're, if we're going to, to last for the long haul, to finish well, we have to be people who are willing to forgive and to forgive quickly and not to carry offense into our future. So it's absolutely critical. Of course, the other piece of that is that we also need to walk in humility and be willing to live a lifestyle of repentance because no, no leader is perfect. And just because we've arrived at some kind of position of, of authority or responsibility does not exempt us from the basic truths of Christianity that require us to live lifestyles of repentance and to, to take ownership of our failures along the way. So those two things have been very important to me as I've spoken to leaders and trained leaders and, and interacted with leaders around our mission. I find often a lack of repentance and an unwillingness to forgive has created uh, disunity or brokenness in relationship could easily be remedied if we would just apply the basic principles of Christ, a lifestyle of repentance and a heart to forgive. <laughs>